How about programming a game with Pygame in Python and sharing it with your friends without them having to download an .exe file or clone your project on GitHub? Instead, they simply run it in the browser without any hassle. Yes, this is possible and it is relatively easy using the pigbag library. A few months ago, I saw some people talking about PyScript and Pyodyne with a Python version that runs in the browser. And I thought, maybe we could do the same with games made in Pygame. As it turns out, other people had already thought of this. And so the Pygame web and pigback project was born, with the goal of doing exactly that. This project is based on CPython Wasm, a version of Python in WebAssembly, just like Pyodite, but developed independently. WebAssembly, or Wasm, is a binary format to run high-performance applications in the browser. And using pigback you can package your project, leaving it in a format that you just need to host it somewhere, like each or GitHub, and then access and run it through the browser. When you run it, it downloads the WebAssembly version of Python and starts running your program inside a virtual machine inside the browser. There are many interesting things here that I still don't understand very well. But what I will focus on this video is how to use pigback. The first thing is to install. That can be done with the pip install pigbag. Then, when creating your project, you need to import the library async.io, besides Pygame, of course. And when creating the main function, it must be an async function. And inside the game loop, include the line async.io slip with the argument 0. At the end, you call the main function with async.io.run. In general, you can do everything normally, create new functions and even structure the functions in different files. But the main file must be named main.py. At the moment, it is not possible to import many libraries beside the Python standard libraries. But this will change soon, because Python will have native support for WebAssembly. So any library that is in PyPy can be imported in the future. You can test your project normally in Pygame this way, and when it's ready, just open the command prompt in the folder above your project and run pigback and the name of your project's folder. Here in my case it is webcaster, considering that you added Python to the Windows path. After running the command, it creates the packages and starts a server for testing. Then just go to your browser and access the address localhost 8000. If everything is working fine, you can upload your file, for example, to itch.io. Inside your project folder, you will find the build folder and inside it, the web folder. You just need to zip the web folder to upload. On itch.io, select the kind of project as HTML. And after uploading the zip file, make sure to check the option, this file will be played in the browser. Then publish your project. And that's it. Now you can share your project with your friends. I honestly think this project is amazing. If you have ever participated in a game jam, you know that projects that can run directly in the browser have a big advantage over those in which you have to download an executable file to run it. After all, nobody likes to and it is not a safe practice to download and run random people's programs on your machine. Even if you use an antivirus, bad things can still happen. But it is not all roses. To start with, this is a very new project and you may find some bugs when using it. But things evolve very fast and every day it gets better. Another thing that I noticed is that performance suffers a bit. In my testing, it usually can be about 5 times slower in the browser compared to when you run it directly in Python. So for now, I would not advise using pigback for complex projects. Paul, the developer, is putting together a repository of projects that use pigback. I will leave the link in the description along with other interesting material. If you are interested in the project, you can also contribute on GitHub and on Pygames Discord. I'd like to thank Paul who helped me a lot to understand a little more about this project. That's it for today and I see you next time.